Last time on Digimon World, let's play Digimon World. We entered this fork, got attacked, and then left. And now our story continues. We must find a way to Ogremon's hideout. The elevators won't take us there, so we have to use this conveniently placed cliff that is about to collapse. What? I felt the ground move. Was it just my imagination? Oh, maybe you should read this sign, you nut. Apparently this sign doesn't say anything. Or I'm facing in the wrong direction. No way! Text box glitch! Ugh. That had to hurt. Ugh. He didn't even take any damage from that fall. What a weirdo. Oh yeah, I got lots of giant meat today. I'm probably never going to run out of food since I can buy more anyways. Or just eat something from the huge stock of mushrooms I have. <laughs> run around in circles because I have no idea where I am right now. Oh, there was an elevator there. I didn't have to take the fall. Actually, I think you do have to take the fall. I'm not entirely sure. Um, the elevators supposedly are off unless you unless you take the fall in which they turn back on, which makes no sense. Happy mushroom. Good. Now I have at least two. That'll be helpful. So I talked to this guy. <laughs> Wow! Run inside! We follow him. Now, now, uh... I was thinking of putting on Metal Gear music, but... Yeah, I apologize for that. It's really hard to avoid enemies and... And, um, not accidentally exit the area at the same time. Anyways, I was thinking of putting on Metal Gear music, but that wouldn't make sense. Because, you know, you're not sneaking around in this place. Even though you should be. And I got a double flop. That recovers both hit points and magic points. Anyways, you're not sneaking around the area, but I really wish you were, because... Uh, because stealth happens to be a favorite of mine, because you can play with the guards. That is, unless... they That is, unless you, you die as soon as they see you. You know, like in a Zelda game, for instance. Anyways, we open up the computer. Come on, open up! You have to be facing the right direction. It's an autopilot. That's one free zap back to the city if necessary. And here we have... And here we have... A mandatory mini-boss! You know what this means, right? I'm pretty sure the entire point of that mini-boss is to wear you down, because usually, when I go through this room and get into the next room, I'm very worn down. And my items are worn down. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I equipped that new attack. That's going to make things a little easier. 
We go past these guys who just stand there. Do nothing, apparently. Now let's look around the room for items. There's one computer right there. And there's nothing else in the room, so... A portable potty. Could they have just installed a regular toilet? Jeez. What does everybody have against toilets these days? Hey! What? Did you come here to lose? It's my line. Oh man, this is getting surreal. They keep killing each other. Uh, hey, a new attack! I'm on a roll today. Whoa! Oh no! Run away! Cowards. All the bad guys in this game are cowards. And he throws up a smoke bomb and disappears into the elevator. Oh, come on, you could have taken the elevator while I was still smoked. Anyways, we got another HP chip. Can't we get an MP chip or something? Oh yeah, these idiots are still here. But by now I'm so low on items and hit points that... that I might die soon. If I'm not careful. But anyways, screw those guys. I just happen to know a little secret. After beating Ogremon in round two, this opens up. It's a secret stash of items. A defense chip. A super offense disc. Disc, not chip, so it's only usable in battle and it's only temporary. An offense chip. You know, and sirloin. There was sirloin in the floppy slot of the computer? What the crap? Ugh. If they ever remake this game, they need to put in standard chests for non-disc items. Not to mention make super versions of all of the stat chips. Someone actually, uh... Before the Digimon DS games were released, uh, people speculated that it might be a remake of this game. And if they did remake this game, you know, I would at least try it before dismissing it as another Final Fantasy Dawn of Souls. Anyway, we get in the elevator. 